Hi folks, welcome to another great episode of Embrace the Journey. We went to World Market the other day. I think most big cities have World Markets. And in World Market, they have all kinds of different world's foods. That makes sense, World Market, World Foods. And I've seen some foods in there that I don't know that I'd want to eat. I've seen some other foods in there that we really like, like those double chocolate wafers. Those are good. And then we've seen, or recognized, a special food called Vegemite. That's Vegemite. The only time I've ever heard of Vegemite, and the only time Karen ever heard of Vegemite, was from a song. And I copied the verse that we remember Vegemite, Vegemite from, and it was from Down Under by Men at Work. I think it came out in like 1972 or in the 70s. And here's the verse. Buying bread from a man in Brussels, he was six foot four and full of muscles. I said, do you speak of my language? And he just smiled and handed me a Vegemite sandwich. There it is, Vegemite sandwich. So, and there it is. Now, not knowing what to do with this stuff, I put some feelers out. And there's a fellow YouTuber named Tony, and I'll, I'll put his link in this video. And he's from Australia, and uh, he likes Vegemite. And he told me just to slather it on a piece of toast and eat it. And then he sent me a second message. He goes, well, if you've never had it before, you might not want to slather it on too thick. In this video, we're going to make a Vegemite sandwich. Try it out. See what it's like. Another thing we found, which attracted me because I never heard of such a thing, Auntie's Spotted Dick Pud. Ugh. Not sure about that one, but I guess maybe in England, if I've got uh, YouTubers that are watching in England, you probably know about this stuff, but it's new to me. And kind of a weird name, but we're going to try this one out too. So if you stay tuned, we'll go through both <laughs> a Vegemite sandwich and whatever a spotted dick might be. So hang on. Let's see how this one turns out. Well, these are the ingredients of what's going to be a Vegemite sandwich. We got the Vegemite, we got the butter, we got the bread, we got the toaster. So let's put it together and see what we come up with. Our friend Anna, who's from Australia, she wrote me an email. And here's what she told me. She says, let me tell you about our Vegemite. It's made of brewer's yeast, and really, when you try it first, it's horrible. The way to eat it is on toast, but you have to put it on butter. And the Vegemite has to be spread really thin till you get used to it. I read that it's banned in the USA. Is that true? Well, it's, it's not banned in the USA, because I've got some. And then I got a, oh, there she goes. I got one from Exploradora8099, also a YouTuber. And she says she love, love, loves the stuff. Best way is toast, some butter, and some Vegemite. And she says it's simply comfort food. It is. I guess we'll find out. Now that the toast is up, we'll spread some butter on it, and Karen will dive in. I don't know how evenly spread I made that butter, but now comes the good stuff. It's the 
Vegemite. Doesn't really have a smell. But I'm gonna do it's kind of thick. I'm just gonna put it on thinly. Because I've never experienced Vegemite. Although the friends in Australia think this is great stuff. They probably had it ever since they were kids. Alright, there's one. Vegemite butter toast. Do a second one. This is down under stuff. I guess this isn't really evenly, but for an American, and for me, it's the best it's going to get. Next thing, try it out, see how it tastes, see if I have to acquire a taste for this stuff. Okay, so here we go. The Vegemite sandwich. First taste. Well, it's salty. Can't really define what the taste is like. Maybe I need another bite. Mm. You know, it's not bad. A little bit salty. I think maybe next time I need to put more on it and do what Tony says, slather it on. But I don't think it'll take long to develop a taste for this stuff. Vegemite toast. Not bad. What do you think? I get bite number two now. It do doesn't really have a defining taste. It is salty. Salty. So for all of you down under, not bad. Willow wants to try it, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. Willow just came back from getting spayed. So she's in a little bit of pain, but she still wants to eat. So, final. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have a distinct flavor. But I guess we'll develop that taste, Anna. Who knows, this might be going on everything before it's all said and done. The next one is gonna be the Spotted Dick. So stay tuned for that one. Now it's time to try out Auntie's delicious Spotted Dick steamed puds. Okay, I think this is from England, although it says it's made in New Zealand. Karen will get this thing ready to go. All right, here we go. We're going to try it out. Take one out. Take the foil off. And there it is. Looks good. Put it on the plate. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Now we're going to invert it onto the plate. Squeeze it out. There we go. Looks good. Steaming hot. Mm, and it smells good. Here we go. This is the spotted dick. Kind of bouncy. Give it a sample.
There it is. It's kind of spotted. Maybe that's why they come up with the spotted oh, part yeah. of it. I don't, I don't know about that. Well, the spotted dick. Here's to you. Hmm? That's good stuff. Let Karen give it a shot. And Karen's oh, verdict is... It's very good. Not real sweet. It's just right. And it's got raisins in it. There's your spots. So, we have done some world foods today. We did Vegemite. Not bad. You Australians got something going there. We did the spotted... The spotted dick. Weird name, but it's actually not bad either. And so we ate that. Now we feel like we are world food gourmets. No, I wouldn't go that far. Well, maybe not that far. You never know what we might find at World Market the next time we go. Who knows? But I'm not eating no sardines. I'm not eating raw fish. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Not, but I'll skip that. But. It's good to try new things. Yes, and this was not bad. And at you all. love raisins, so it's right up your alley. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming along with us on this one. Hope you enjoyed Vegemite, spotted dip pudding, and saw us eat it. And thanks for all of you that sent us what you thought would be the best way to prepare this. And I think you were all right. And if you got YouTube channel, I'll leave the YouTube channel somewhere here in this video. So maybe someone wants to go and see you. So see ya. Embrace your journey. We'll catch you next week. Bye.